Okay, welcome back to part two of the Pigeon Academy show. Welcome back to Feeding 101. Again, I'm your host, Rodney G. We are going to cover, finish covering the first video that we did. And this is part two of our video. You can catch part one on Facebook or YouTube. And we're going to finish, finalize part two. Let me just summarize some of, of video part one, where we were talking about the three classes, which is your short, medium, and long face pigeon, and all the different strains and, and type of pigeons that come in those classifications. Then we were talking about the four seasons. You're flying, molting, winter, and breeding. So now we're going to come with the information that's going to benefit you being a beginner pigeon fancier. What you need to understand during these seasons, which supplements, which grit you need to be purchasing and supplying your pigeons during these seasons. So one of the sites we're going to go to, we're going to go to the baiting site. And in the baiting site, we're going to see some really good mixes coming from Baden. You should be able to follow me on, on my page. And you go right here to the pigeon section. And there you have all of your uh, Baden mixes. This is what you're going to be able to see. All you have to do is go to their site, which is badenfeed.com. I want you to follow along with me. Of course, getting information sometimes is about uh, taking good notes. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into some of the feeds and show you some of the feeds. If you're dealing with your short face and your medium face birds, a lot of those birds are medium in size. Okay. They're medium in size, medium wing birds. A lot of your long face pigeons or your bigger pigeons, bigger wings, uh, they require uh, more nutrition than the other birds. So let's start off with flying bird mixes for those three classes, okay? Let's start off with some flying bird mixes for those three classes, okay? I'm going to go to one, let's say, for the short face pigeon. This is a feed that you can use for your short face, your short and medium face pigeons right here. This is a bait and tippler mix. This is your bait and tippler mix. It has Canadian peas, trap peas, popcorn. Let me say this. Popcorn is, I, I use popcorn with my tipplers. I don't feed it heavy to them, but this is a good mix that Baden has. Uh, has a red hard wheat in it, Milo, Mellet, Barley. This is a really good mix for your short and medium face pigeons that they can take on a regular. And again, it's good for them. You don't want to be flying short and medium face birds. I don't care what classification they are with heavy mixes. Some of your bigger birds, they're going to require more feed. Here's a good food right here. Your superfly mix. Your superfly mix is a really good during the flying season mix to use on your larger pigeons like your flights, maybe your long face Canadians, your big birds like that, Russian high flyers, all of those big class birds with uh, long faces, they're gonna require a different level of nutrition. You can't feed all the birds the same mixes. This is 
Superfly mix. This is a baited mix. It's got yellow corn, red corn, wheat, safflower, maple peas, Canadian peas. Again, if you overfeed any pigeon, they're not going to fly. All of this information is, of course, all coming from moderation. Anything you do with the birds, you must do it in moderation. Okay? If you overfeed any bird, you are going to have problems with the birds flying. Okay? They are not going to fly for you. So now, you can have your tippler mixes. There's a lot of mixes like the conditional mix that you can utilize for your, your feeding. It's a little heavy. It's got a lot of good grains in it, like the milo and the millet and the soft flour and the canary seed, your brown rice, red milo. It's a little on the heavy side. This is a mix that I would strain and get a lot of the big grains out because it has a lot of good nutrition. We're going to go into some mixes later and talk about the straining of mixes and the benefits that come from that. So that is the conditional mix. The tiplets, tiplets like your high flying birds like that, they do require a lot of different mixes. But today, we're going to just keep it where your short, medium, and long face birds. So far, we've shown you a couple of mixes, your tipler mixes, and your superfly mix for the flying season. Once your birds come into the molting season, you need to get the mixes that's going to help them with their molt. And here's one of the baited mixes right here. This is a this is a molting mix. It's got a lot of barley in it. It's got a lot of milo in it. Uh, canelo seeds. It's got red millet, trapper peas. When you're dealing with the moat, you definitely want to add in some more nutrition. I'm going to show you some vitamins and supplements that you could get for your pigeons during those seasons. I'm going to go now and we're going to look at some winter mix. Okay. Now you could also find some other mixes like um, mutine and, and depurative, which are also good for the molting season. But today, we're just going to stay with the baiting mixes, and then we're going to go from there. Winter time comes, you want to have the right mix for your, your birds. This is a really good mix here for your, your winter birds, especially if you're on the East Coast. You know you're going to need a lot, a lot of protein going to lead a, a lot of carbohydrates. Your birds need certain nutrition. This is the Baden winter pigeon mix. This is really good, especially for your long face pigeons, your bigger pigeons. This has your yellow corn, your red corn, green peas, maple, your Canadian, your trapper peas. And this is really good. The birds need great nutrition during the winter to stay warm, and these are the mixes that you should highly consider. Take a look at all the mixes right here on the, the baiting page, and you'll see a lot of these mixes. Now let's go into some of your breeding mixes. Here are some of your breeding mixes here. And you can't go wrong with baiting feed. Baiting has a lot of really good mixes that you can get. And I'm going to bring up one of the mixes here. Okay. They got the conditioner. And I'm going to bring this up here. Okay. I don't I don't I don't actually see the the breeding mix but I'm gonna utilize one of the feeds that's similar to a breeding mix that you could use. Oh, here it is, I'm sorry. 
here goes your breeding mix. And this is good for your long, your, your long faced birds and your medium faced birds. I believe in feeding your medium faced birds. I don't care what classification it is, your long faced birds. During the breeding season, your birds need corn, they need wheat, they need peas, especially your maple peas and your Canadian peas. You're gonna get your safflower, you're gonna get your red melon in this mix. Your birds are gonna need all these levels of nutrition. They're gonna need all these levels of nutrition. And this is a good breeder's mix coming from Baden. It is essential. Your, sh your short-faced birds, you might have to go and put together a lot of different small seeds, but I would highly recommend if those birds can digest peas and corn, I would always suggest popcorn and the smallest pea that you can find. If, they, if those birds cannot digest that, find the smallest and best grains. And this, I'm going to make a suggestion right here. I'm going to make a suggestion on a mix that you could use, one of your, your, your small grain mixes. Because you have to be able to take care of your birds, and they got to be able to eat. They got to be able to eat. So I'm going to suggest this mix right here. And this is a short face mix. You might, you might be able to get away with, because what's in here? Australian peas, your white milo, your safflower, brown rice, your lentils, your, your hard red wheat, your white melon. I would suggest if you're breeding short faced birds, you go with this here as a breeding mix and you should be able to get by. Because one of the things you wanna make sure your youngsters are getting, they're getting their peas, they're getting safflower, they're getting milo. If you get those things into their digestive tract, you're gonna breed some healthy birds. You're gonna breed healthy birds. So we're gonna come back now to the homepage, and that was some of the mixes. This video's, the intention of this video today is to open your mind to where you need to be in the four seasons when it comes to flying, molting, winter, and of course your breeding season. You wanna stay light during your flying seasons, but you wanna have your nutrition. You wanna have your vitamins. I'm gonna go to the Versalaga. I'm gonna go to the Versalaga site now which is, this book here is Pointing the Way. And I want you to follow me. This is the Versalaga Pointing the Way. And we're gonna go to vitamins. Let's see where vitamins are. Okay, vitamins is on page 86. So we're gonna go all the way to page 86. And this is a very good book. This is called Pointing the Way. It's the Versalaga book. And I'm gonna keep it very simple when it comes to the nutrition that pigeons need. Here's one of the things right here that I'm gonna suggest to utilize during the molten season. This is your bee coil. It promotes plumage, growth, and molt. It increases the appetite and it helps in digestion with the liver function and it purifies the blood. This is a very good vitamin, B coil. You can find it on page 88 in your Versalaga book. And let me tell you, it has a lot of all your nutrition and everything that you need to know. So during your main seasons, if you're a beginner, don't complicate things. I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna go to one of the, the main vitamin that you should be using all year round. And here it is here. Come on, there it is. I'm gonna bring it up. Your combine vita. 
your combine vita you can use all year long this is on page 82 in your points in the way versa logger book if you don't have it just go to the versa logger site and look for pointing the way in the search box and it will come up also your grit there's several different grits that you can use but i will always suggest these two which is your pickstone and your all-in-one these are essential that that combine vita versa lager all-in-one vitamin it will cover you in all four seasons your flying season your molten season your winter and of course your breeding season these are the things that we are trying to share with you here at the pigeon academy show we want you to understand that there are different type of pigeons that require different type of feeding when they're flying when they're molting like show birds they require a different level of molting nutrition than a regular flying bird like your racing bird during the molting season they require a different level of nutrition yeah tom we back this is part two of our video feeding 101 you could catch part one on our Facebook and YouTube page, which is the Pigeon Academy show. We went through a plethora of information pertaining to supplements for the four seasons. We went through some feed here on part two, whether it was for short face, medium or long face, whether that feed was for flying season, molting, winter, or your breeding season, you know you're watching the Pigeon Academy show with your charismatic host, Rodney G. We are here to give you as much information. We don't want to be wasting your time. We want to bring you the best information. We want to get you on track so that you can give the best care possible and affordable to your pigeons. And a lot of it starts with a good dry loft. Very few pigeons. Don't overcrowd your pigeons. Um, good nutrition, which is your feed. Very few supplements. The flying pigeon does not require a lot of supplements. They don't require all these, all these racing programs. You need to keep it very simple. This is our message today here at the Pigeon Academy. Keep it as simple as possible. Know which grains to feed your birds. Know which supplements to feed your birds. One of the products that we did not bring up here, which is not a Baden or versatile lager product, is your Primalac. And then you got all these different classes of things that you could use, all right? We got people watching this show today all the way from Libya, from North Africa. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in to the Pigeon Academy show and supporting us. This is a worldwide show. This is the number one pigeon show coming out of the United States. We are about information. We are here to promote the sport and nothing else. I don't care about the vanity. We are here to promote this fine sport. And today's video was about nutrition, it was about feeding. Again, you can go to the site that where we were, which is the baiting site, and you can look at all the feeds that we talked about in these videos. You can go to the Versa Lager uh, page <clears throat> and check out Pointing the Way and start studying, then start applying. A lot of these pigeon products, a lot of them, you might not even need. Again, during the molten season, certain mixes with your B coil and your vitamins and your pigeons are good. Maybe some little bit of Primalac. And then there's so many different classes of probiotics because what Primalac is, you have so many different 
families of probiotics after that. You can go on a pigeon, pigeonfeed.com, Global Pigeon Supply. You can go on Jeds. You can go on Foys. You know, you can go, you can go all the way down. I'm gonna bring up Tom DiMartino's comment right here. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say something to you, Tom. Tom says, I'm a fan of Baden products. Yeah, I bet you are, Tom. You guys have one of one of the top pigeon suppliers of Baden feeds out on Long Island, which is your Wellwood pigeon store, right? All that great. I mean, let me tell you, I need to get my lazy behind out to the Wellwood and stack up. I really love their mixes with the Primalac. A couple of years ago, I went out there and I stacked up. They had awesome feed out there. All the feeds that we talked about in this video today, all right, which is a very brief information on feeding, they have it out there in the baiting store. If we did a special on Versalaga, I would be saying go to Andrews in the Bronx because they are the number one supplier of Versalaga here on the East Coast. But if you're in the Midwest, you're on the West Coast, look up these, look up these distributors. Look them up. Look up Baden. Look up Versalaga. Look them all up. Tom says, good information. You guys got some of the best feet out there out on the island, Tom. I know you, I know you're a Baden fan. Great mixes. I went out there and I purchased, short story, I went out there and I purchased some. Um, I went to uh, I went to Sal and I said, hey Sal, I want me a high flyers mix, man. So I was like, Rodney, come on, let's go. Went to the back, looked around. He was like, this, 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 this. I was shocked. I said, what? I said, man, you holding on to all of that? He was like, yeah. Yeah. They're the number one baiting distributor on the East Coast, which is Wellwood. That was spontaneous. Free plug to, to Wellwood. Some good people out there. Sal and his crew. Really good. Really great. Pigeon people, good people out there directing you. Good pigeon store right here in the Boogie Down Bronx, which is Global Pigeon Supply. You can find all these stores online. If not, I'll inbox you the information. We are trying to push this sport and this hobby in the right direction so people can enjoy this. Can enjoy this. Wayne Jackson said, Good information. Thank you. Thank you, Jackson. We're here promoting the sport. And today, again, we were talking about the high flyer. We were talking about the short face, medium face pigeon, your long face pigeon. We were talking about uh, your flying season, molting season, winter, and of course, your breeding season. In other videos, we're going to touch on in the very near future, we're going to touch on other videos pertaining to vaccination. We're going to touch on other videos pertaining to uh, your everyday care. We're going to talk, talk about dealing with paramixo. We're going to be talking about dealing with your, your circle virus and Dino. Look for our videos in the very near future. You know it's your host, Rodney G of the Pigeon Academy Show. We're bringing you all this information to help you become a better pigeon fancier. We've hope we've brought some clarity to you on what's going on in the pigeon sport. Look for our videos. Again, we're on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. Subscribe and like our channels. We're going to be ending the video now, but thank you for uh, supporting the Pigeon Academy show and continue to watch. And if you have any questions, feel free to inbox me. It'll be my pleasure to answer these questions. And this has been your guy, Rodney G of the Pigeon Academy show. And thank you.